Do you guys have, do you know what you want to mix? Pina colada sweet rice. What, what, what's the idea there? What's the idea? We had the idea of coconut rice, and then he came up with the idea of pina colada rice. Bomb. Pina colada sweet rice. But the issue I'm having is what rice, because Effie sweet rice would be so perfect there, we, but it falls apart. Yeah, it's it good for one day. Yeah, the starch base. I mean, that is an option, but I feel like it's not very sweet, right? It's just so bready. It's very bready and like AP. Yeah, I don't think you want that with pina colada. Do you want to make like a rice pudding? Basically, or yeah, or like a rice drink, whatever, rice milk, I don't know. We have, we're going to use pudding base, rice base. Well, we pudding, use... pudding base is like bread pudding, not like pudding yeah, pudding. Pudding base is also real fucking nutty. Hella custard. But for making bread pudding, if you're into bread pudding, Vape Train Pudding Base will get you there. I've yeah. never put bread, uh, pina colada candy in mine, though. No, it would you, not I go with you, pina colada. I bet you, I bet you uh, some sort of rice base, fresh cream. Well, I have Vape Train Rice Base, too, and that's kind of the same issue. It's very, like, on the breadier, saltier yeah. side of rice, if that makes sense. But I feel like either of those, like, even the starch base, I feel like it's manageable. I think FE, FE is, it, we could do that. I mean, I, Also, I, yeah, as the texture doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't really fall. I mean, it does, but... The right. flavor doesn't fall apart, but it's just the actual yeah. rice thing. I think just right. flavor falls apart. And plus, what it's Max saying it. So he's the not- actual flavor of, like, of FE sweet rice, it stays. It turns into yeah. fucking flour tortillas. You just heard someone say that. No, that's what I believe. If I was picking a flavor to just go for it and see what happens, it'd be starch base. I feel like that's the best bet. You think so? It's so bready. Yeah, I, I know it's very bready and not sweet at all, but I feel like if we manipulate it well, it could get there. Especially with coconut. I feel like coconut will dampen the bready part quite a bit. Huh. Oh my God, why do I always drop shit? Uh, so you're thinking like a rice with a milk or cream base. Do you use any kind of lemon or spices when you? Uh, do... I would go lemon before spice. Either the idea is basically like how you'd make a pina colada. We're gonna do like the milk base and then like pineapple juice, coconut milk, or whatever. So I, I haven't used um, the uh, vape train rice base. What, what what is it like? It's almost like. People have described it to me before I tried it as being like sort of the savory side of rice. Like if you just made a fucking pot of rice flavor. But to me, it has almost a floral thing going on too that's pretty heavy. Hmm. Sounds like it'd be good for a horchata. Do you think the pina could like a like pineapple would keep the uh, flavor? We don't know what flavor express rice does with other shit, right? Yeah, I've tried. I mean, but in any in any circumstance, it's gonna it's not gonna be what it is as a shaken vape over time. And also, I really want to see what the... I feel like starch base could work. Could we add it to the... Uh, is there anything we can do to keep the FE going? Because that's like the best tasting one. It is the best tasting one, and it's very candied. I've been mixing with rice base from Babe Train, and I think it helps with the authenticity of the rice. But I don't know if you that authentic rice in a rice base. Right, bowl. right. But also, now that yeah. Graham said that, I'm wondering if we did either the starch base or the rice base with F.E. sweet rice, yeah, if they would thinking, blend. I'm thinking that that might be what, what maybe could extend it or keep it... Keep right, it keep the texture up from the other flavor. The problem with rice, with rice pudding, is the texture. How do you get that right. true texture with the grain? Really? I almost feel like the secret there is to use flavora vanilla pudding on top of yeah. something that's kind of crunchy. Yeah, for sure. Because vanilla pudding will soften the shit out of anything. So it's just finding the right starch flavor and then something that will keep the texture behind the vanilla pudding. What about using some kind of cereal? Like cereal? Yeah, like a rice crunch. That's what, that's where, yeah, that's where my mind was. Use rice crunchies. Oh, rice crunchies, but it is too sharp. Too, right, too, too. It's a, I feel like vanilla I pudding would almost either just eliminate that or it would still be there, the crispy, sharp part of it. We need something like, like imagine how cap sugar cookie is, where it's already kind of like a soft bread. So, so if, uh, if, <laughs> If we're gonna make like a, a legitimate rice pudding, most rice puddings have some type of cinnamon or something like that in it, right? So right, but you wouldn't do that if we're going pina colada, right? That's true. Wonder flavors so, candy pineapple. What kind? What pina kind colada of candy, candy, right? Coconut candy. I mean, a flavor west, uh, creamy coconut. And also, Graham, I can't trust you with coconuts anymore. Yeah, I can't either. I I liked cap coconut for like a second. You you were the one who told me about it. <laughs> I I did what? You yeah. you're the one that told me. I told you. Yeah, you told, you told me. me. 
No, you oh, told no. me. I mean, Wonder Flavors Pina Colada candy is easy mode, right? That's going to get us started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Rice and pina colada candy. Right, but now we have to figure out how to keep the texture. And I feel like we could add more coconut because it's heavier on yeah. the pineapple. What about in a wear of coconut cookies? Yeah, that would work. Eh? That would work eh? so fucking well. That would work. You have the texture, you have the coconut. So I guess we'll just build it around coconut cookies for now then. Coconut cookies, sweet rice, pina colada candy. Uh, I mean, this is sounding fucking great to me. Do you think that we need to add um, some type of uh, custardy thing to it for mouthfeel? I mean, I, I'll never say no to that question. Yeah. And also, FA Premium Custard is a thing that exists. Have you tried coconut custard from Wonder Flavors? How is the, the custard there? Didn't the custard is not great. It's more of the coconut flavor. So no eggs. No, not really. It's, it's, like it's, a, almost, it's more of a coconut cream. It's like a coconut frozen yogurt. Oh, that sounds... Which is... Nice. No, yeah, it's stupid delicious, but as far as being custardy, it's not. What about Flavora, regular coconut? Or creamy? Flavora, regular coconut is phenomenal. I'm also... But I'm wondering, in a way, a coconut cookies has a lot of coconut flavor. I don't know that we're going to want to add more than that. All right, so so let me let me try to... Um, Figure this thing out. So as, as far as far as the rice base, we're gonna we're gonna try to take coconut cookies, in a way, coconut cookies. We're gonna add uh, flavor express um, rice, right? And we're also gonna add the starch base, or or not? Probably not. I think we'll probably just go for the Effie sweet rice and coconut cookies and see what happens. Okay. All right. Because we, we don't want to start. We don't want to start stacking starches, or it's gonna get. Right. We don't want to go like a creamier way. A creamier direction than the you direction. definitely want to use a custard. I'm so yeah, everything other than the coconut cookies needs to be soft, whether it's custard, cream, or just fruit. But when you make a rice pudding, you definitely want like a custard like flavor because that's what's going to translate the mm -hmm. best into it. It'll carry it for sure. So, flavor vanilla pudding, flavor vanilla pudding, and maybe like a touch of TFA or FA, FA. uh, custard. And um, the main reason why is because that is kind of like your um it doesn't really make it's not a pudding so much it's more of like a custard base so like when you make a rice pudding it's like a tapioca isn't it yeah 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 and vanilla pudding is just modif a modifier to the the harder textures um so we'll still need a custard like an actual custard uh but the the base of the recipe what what i'm gathering is going to be like Five percent pina colada candy, five percent epi sweet rice. Do you think we need any kind of milk or cream? Or no, we, not with the custard. A, you need the, a custard. Yeah, with the custard and the vanilla pudding, we, we won't need another cream. Yeah, you definitely think you need the vanilla pudding, and you definitely need a custard, and you might want that a little bit lower than the pudding. That's just my personal. No, no, no yeah, I completely agree. Two and then half a percent. Yeah, something like that. Maybe even like one and a half, like one percent, half a percent. No, two percent vanilla pudding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, oh. I'm more higher on the pudding. Okay. Lower okay. on it because okay. you don't want too much because otherwise it's gonna be too eggy. Right, right, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So maybe two and one then. Two, I, I think two and a half, but just a two and a half. Half of the custard, do you think, is enough? Mm-hmm. You don't want too much rich, richness. It's gonna steamroll it. everything else. Right. Okay. Well, that the, the the FA premium custard is not that eggy. That's what, and it's not that strong. Yeah, um, I I would I would at least go one yeah. on it, yeah, but yeah, that's just right. me. I see both sides, though. I guess it's just trying it. Well, well, let's, let's, let's try it at half and then go up. Exactly. We'll we'll try it at half and then if it needs more, we'll go up. Yeah. Are, are we going five percent on the pina colada candy? Yeah, because that we want that to be the flavor, basically. All right, let's, uh, where are we putting the coconut cookies? I have no experience with this flavor, so. 1%? That's where I was about, 1%. So we're using the, the Innerware coconut cookies to bolster that rice to give it some kind of texture. Is, is, does 1% give us that texture that we're looking for? That's, what I'm, that's why I don't know. I feel like it will, because FE sweet rice will have its own texture, and if we can, like, prevent it from fading, kind of like how we did the vanilla ruyon custard, the tobaccos, we, like, kind of prevented them from fading out. I feel like if the coconut cookies has whatever it needs to keep the texture of Effie Sweet Rice there, then we don't need to go higher. So let's let's start out at one, and if we need to add more, we can. So let me just read this back to uh, to you. So we're going to be using uh, Flavor Express Sweet Rice at five percent, Flavora Vanilla Pudding at two percent, 
FA custard premium at 0.5%, Inaware coconut cookies at 1%, and Wonder Flavors pina colada candy at 5%. Okay, so this is a pina colada rice pudding. We're going to start with Inawera coconut cookies at 1%. Mm, that does have a lot of coconut in it. FA custard premium at 0.5%. This is actually uh, Chef's Flavors brand of it. You can get it cheaper. It's the same thing as FA custard premium. Next is Wonder Flavors Pina Colada Candy at 5%. For our rice, we're going to be using Flavor Express Sweet Rice at 5% as well. And then we're using Flavora Vanilla Pudding at 2%, just to add a little bit of a creaminess and a pudding note to it. Guys, this smells really good. I don't know if it's going to vape like it tastes. Oh, oh like boy. I think the pindi colada candy is way too high. You do 5% each, right? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. You're getting the rice though, right? I'm getting mostly just the pindi colada candy. Let me let me drip it again. This this has some other shit on it here. So, you know, should be getting a substantial amount of rice, for sure. Do you, do you get any separation from the pina colada and the rice? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting... It's like the... It's like the pina coladas. Got some kind like of a, gummy. No, it's like a floral note. I'm getting a floral note. Pina colada candy, wonder flavors, five mm -hmm. percent. Yep, that's what I got. That's good we're not me. getting even remotely the same thing. It's weird. Okay, I think, what I do think you, you try the recipe? I, I did five percent each. Mm -hmm. Sweet rice, wonder flavors, pina colada candy, two percent vanilla pudding, half a percent FA premium custard, one percent coconut cookies. Right. I'm getting a, a substantial amount of rice, full pina colada flavor, no floral off note, some separation between the rice flavor and the pina colada flavor. The only thing I was thinking was to add some more pineapple because it's coconut dominant. But the way you're describing that doesn't even sound like the same thing. For you, the pina colada candy is not weird at all, right? For me? No. It not works at all. Well. It, it works, works here. If anything, it's probably the coconut cookies that's making it weird. Did I anywhere like reformulate the coconut cookies already? It's hard. It's hard for me to describe what I'm tasting. But if I had a word to kind of put in there, it would be that it it kind of tastes boozy. None of them are alcohol based, other than I, I have coconut cookies. Now. Is there like a chance you messed up a percentage or something? No, yeah. he didn't fuck anything up. No. It seems it seems a little dry to me. Mine's not dry. Yeah, at all. Well, maybe maybe I just need to take out that inaware coconut cookies. Yeah, just try it without it for now, and then we can add stuff on there. Uh, I, I can see that happening from another coconut, but not from inaware coconut cookie. It is not dry. What about in flavora coconut? Half a percent flavor coconut. The off note to me is I don't think it needs that textural property from a a biscuit or a cookie i don't either I don't, I don't think it needs that that already smells better without the uh inner coconut cookies i mean if if, if it's better for you folk art without the inner coconut cookies then we'll find a way to get rid of that I, it's it's dense it's it's clearly pudding it's not fucking it's not custard it's not anything else like you get the perfect amount of everything I get a good amount of coconut, which... Was and a good amount of rice, right? And pineapple. Yeah. But the, and the pineapple is super top note. Yeah, it's, a, it's almost, yeah. It's like very upfront, and then it kind of just goes away. Well, it's because anytime you use coconut... I've been, like, working with coconut a lot. But anytime you use coconut, like, it's all on the back end. Mm -hmm. And that's why I like the pina colada candy, because, like, the pineapple is really up front. And then, like, that coconut, like, it's weird to have a flavoring itself that has, same, like, that kind of separation. This is fucking amazing. What'd you try? Without the, without, I don't have the cookie, and I have no cookie. 
You have no co- – yeah, see, I'm telling you, I don't think you need the cookie. I think you could even get by using, like, TFA Graham Cross at, like, 1% and it'd be fine. I don't even think that. What coconut do you use, Graham? You use four, you use right? coconut, too. So taking out the Inawara coconut cookies helped a lot. Okay. It's, 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 a lot, it's a lot better, a lot better without the coconut cookies in it. So then let's just do the TPA Cheesecake Graham Crest version, right? And then call it yeah. good. Like one percent is fine. Yeah, and also flavor of coconut. Yeah, I would say a quarter percent. It's really fucking working for me. Okay, uh, so we're adding TPA uh, cheesecake graham crust at one percent, and we're also adding flavora coconut at point two five percent. Yeah, point two five. That's what I did. And take out the inawara coconut cookie. We got. Uh, 1% TPA cheesecake graham crust, 0.25% flavora coconut, 0.5% FA custard premium, 5% Wonder Flavors pina colada candy super concentrate, 0.25% cap super sweet, uh, 5% FE sweet rice, and 2% flavora vanilla pudding. I put that super sweet in there. Just Oh, that's so fucking much better. It really is, right? It's like exactly what you would expect it. Like by yeah. saying what it is, like exactly what you would expect it to be. That's so much better. So you much get better. The rice, you get the rice and, and the pineapple? Yes, I do. I, I think that uh, flavora coconut is adding some type of creaminess to it too. I know we're not oh. using much of it, but it just it seems creamier to me. So uh, adding the, um, the TPA cheesecake graham crust also, I think, helps out that rice, the sweet rice base. It kind of gives it a, a little more texture, and hopefully it'll stand up. Uh, or it'll, it'll keep the sweet rice from, you know, getting mushy and turn into a, what did, what did Max call it? Uh, a flat tortilla or something? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. 